it's Justin and Bethany from the Flack Fam. Let's talk about tempeniaki. If you've been to Epcot, you know just how impressive the international pavilions are to look at. The Japan Pavilion in Epcot is one of our favorites because of the architecture, one of the best stores in all of Epcot, and of course, it's food. On a recent trip, Justin and I ate at Tempen Edo on the second level of the pavilion. If you've never eaten at a teppanyaki style restaurant, let us tell you about it. And if you have, you can just listen to our sultry voices. Sultry, huh? I was thinking on my feet. Leave me alone. Anyway, teppanyaki style cooking is a communal ritual where expertly trained chefs cook your meal on a large hibachi grill right at your table. Crap, I don't feel like I did that justice. Just know it is more than a meal. It is a complete experience. Exactly, it's a meal and a show all at the same time. It all starts just after you've been shown to your table. They provide you with a warm cloth to wash your hands, which we think needs to happen at more restaurants because it's just nice. As you wash your hands, they take your drink and appetizer orders. Included with your meal is a cucumber seaweed salad, but we also got some edamame. They offer Coke products just like you'll find throughout the parks and a good selection of sake, Japanese beers, and cocktails. They will also take your order for your main course, which you can choose from steak, chicken, seafood, vegetables, or a combination of those. Once your order has been taken and they've brought your drinks and appetizers, you are introduced to your chef who will confirm your order and then the show starts. They begin by heating up the grill and playing with knives and fire. Wow, you make it sound so dangerous. It is, but I love it. What she means is that they oil the grill and cut the vegetables that will eventually go into your noodles. Yes, there are some flames, but it's completely safe. Yeah, but that sounds so boring. It's just so much more exciting than that. I mean, the sliced onion volcano and choo-choo train, come on. Wow, I didn't know you felt this amount of passion for this topic. I just really like it, okay? Oh, so cute. Yeah, look at this, volcano and choo-choo train. <laughs> Between the salad, any appetizers you order, the bowl of rice they bring you, the vegetables and noodles, you are going to be full. But don't worry, you still have your main course and it's always worth it. As the chef starts to cook the main courses, they will dazzle you by spinning and throwing their utensils. Okay, seriously, I never realized how dangerous eating here sounds, but I promise it's completely safe. We've never seen anyone get hurt. Hit in the face when the chef tosses a shrimp toward them so that they can try and catch it in their mouth? Sure, but never hurt. <laughs> We should mention that besides the chef, we had a main waiter and an assistant helping our table of six people, and they took very good care of us. Honestly, service is a top priority here. Before you head back into the wild, make sure you walk along the balcony and take in the view. these lights that we really want for our back patio. What is your obsession with lights? Stop picking on me. When you've taken in as much of the sights as you want, head into the store and check out the toys, the art, maybe a kimono, or if you're like me, you'll head straight back to the incense and then to the tea sets. Oh my.
my friend. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, how cute that is. That's really cute. What flavors? Rose, lavender, and citrus. As you exit the back of the shop, take a minute to stop by the special exhibit currently about Kauai, Japan's cute culture. tell we love the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. We're making a video about Tempanito and ended up talking about the whole place. So to get back to the main topic, we highly recommend dining here. But make sure you plan accordingly because this can easily be a one and a half to two hour experience. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit that like button and subscribe and leave us a comment. Don't know what to say in the comments? Maybe you could let us know your favorite Epcot restaurant or maybe you could just tell us what you think about us. I don't know whatever's on your mind. Yikes, that's an open invitation. I'm a bit afraid. Uh, maybe you should just visit our channel page and browse some of our other videos. Bye! Hey.